Hello, Leo. Welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for who you may be dealing with and what they're up to. Or if you're interested in more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel at Val33 Tarot, which is a review as well. Thank you. <clears throat> hmm. I'll be starting by pulling their current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. What is that song? <laughs> you know, it's, it's, the an, it's an oldies. It's, it's an oldies. The Greece where they, they go to the dance or that ball, or whatever, and they're all there. Mm -hmm. and the Sandy and Cha Cha and all that whole thing and the crazy dance off thing. And they it's, it's, a, it's a slow dance. Okay, at the, the school, I mean, right? It, yeah, it's like, but I remember you. Da, 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 na, 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 Tears on my pillow. Da, 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 you know? <laughs> Tears on my pillow. Something like that. I'm surprised I can't remember all of it. I love that movie. But anyway. <laughs> it's the, that song. The Rays at the End. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought that was cool, the Hot Rods. Right? The old classics. That was the cool part. It goes up in the sky at the end. Mm -hmm. yeah. It goes up on the wall. I think it's in the, what is it called? The riverbank. Oh, when they do, oh yeah, yeah, that race. Yeah. <laughs> Those <laughs> spikes on the on wheels. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, grease. Grease lightning. Huh, lightning. Okay, Leo. Interesting. Grease lightning. Reminds me of the tower, lightning. Anyways, jumping into this. This is, this is quite the puzzle, quite the riddle. Um... A lot's going on, and I'm a little curious as to why. They're a little bit... How do I say this? Their mindset. Um, they're a little bit unsure of... <clears throat> they're a little bit unsure of, How do I say this? They want to move forward, but I feel like there's something here that they are kind of staying focused on. And I'm not going to say fixated quite yet, but definitely focused on mentally. There, there's something that's kind of standing out that is more so taking priority in their attention. And this may be causing a little bit of like uncertainty and a little bit of back and forthness with themselves. That in turn is causing them to have to address their emotions and feelings as to where they're actually at. And I kind of feel like, yeah, it's a little energy of mm, don't know, don't know. To move forward, to not move forward. Am I going to battle myself or am I not going to battle myself? Um, working through it. I do see that there is a consideration here of what to do because of this. It feels like this could cause an argument. It could cause a conflict. Are they saying something? Are they not saying something? Do they need to say something that they're not saying? You get it. You're following. Um, geez, it's an energy of... Ultimately, what they're showing me is they, they're they on the fence, in a sense. They're thinking about, well, if I move forward that way, or what if I just don't? Um, they have, they're undecided. In a sense, they're undecided. And that's what I'm kind of sensing, and it's almost as if um, they're showing me this energy of considerations, but they're not choosing to go forward or go through with these things. And it's making them closed up, closed off. They don't know to be persistent and dedicated to this or not. One thing is for sure, they're showing up a little bit fiery, a little bit icy. Are they taking some time themselves to rest and recover or are they not? Um, and again, it's an energy of do they want to take action or do they don't? And it's sort of like, okay, um, let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers because even I'm like, huh? So let's see. It's kind of an energy of one staying put 
not necessarily making moves, but definitely considering possibilities of what moves they could make. It's almost like a chess player or something. I'm like, we'll see. And there's the devil coming out. So I say chess player and the devil comes out. What's that about? What is that about? Um, yeah, well, I, I just saw this in someone else's reading. I just saw this. I forget for who. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll remember, maybe I won't. Whatever this is, whatever it is, is it healthy or is it toxic? Kind of feel like that's maybe what they're trying to determine could be a possibly a mother figure maybe parental energy um yeah they're what to do what to do what to do what to do it's almost like an energy of what to do with themselves right now what to do with themselves and what they got going on with a lot emotionally dealing with a lot mentally yeah I, I feel it i feel it and i believe it it's to the point where again um they themselves are yes are having to address their emotions and their feelings but they're kind of teeter tottering between um emotions and thoughts emotions and thoughts emotions and thoughts it's kind of like saying geez it's almost like hmm, where's your where's your perspective coming from is it coming from the heart or is it coming from the mind because they definitely are affecting each other at this point. They're, it's almost as if they're trying to find a roundabout way to not stress out or not have anxiety or fear. Yeah, one thing's for certain is they want to stay put. They're like, well, I'm thinking about what action I can kind of take, but um, one thing is for certain, they don't want to let go of what they have, whether it be financially or whether it be the situation, the circumstances, either or. Could be a little one. They're showing me a little one. Yeah, this is parental energy. Jeez. To talk about things or to not talk about things, that is a harsh conversation. That's a harsh conversation. It's not an easy one to bring up either. I remember when my dad pulled me and my brothers into the room and said, hey, your mother and I are getting divorced. Not always the easiest news to hear when you're little, but um, necessary necessary at least you're upfront and honest about it and i kind of feel like huh, where's this going where's this going something needs to be talked about and i feel like it's not it's an energy of um doing the work and this is interesting and fascinating at the same time because it's an energy of doing the work on oneself rather than something external like a job or a career um, it's doing work on oneself the hermit is here to shine a light. Everyone is a hermit. The question is, are you going to carry that light within the darkness of yourself and <laughs> within the darkness of yourself with the moon coming out and do that work? Do the work. If you don't do the work, it'll come back around. And it'll be the hard knocks life and kind of nudge you into doing the work one way or another. It's what we're here for, to do the work, to experience. They're saying that they're staying very sharp because they don't know where the future's going. Whew. One thing is for sure though, um, whether they're taking some time to rest and recover for themselves or not, this is pointing in the direction of slowly going emotionally cold. Slowly going emotionally cold. Okay, so I just told you about the work. Wow. 
with the energy I'm feeling, whether they're doing the work or they're not, um, geez, 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 geez. That's definitely an energy of there's always work to be done. I feel like they are, they are, they, they are, and I'm going to say it's like this energy of kind of, they are kind of, um, because even I'm not too sure based off of how this is kind of unfolding. But of course, if you are dealing with anyone, we do have Capricorn, Libra, Virgo, and Pisces. Goodbye.